Greetings, everyone. This is First and Twenty Seven Fifty Three with another episode of Hearts of Iron Four Japanese Faction, and we have just begun our war. We just declared war against the Allies, declared war against Britain, uh, bringing both our faction and theirs into the struggle. Uh, we are not a part of the Axis faction. We have our own faction, which includes Nationalist China as well as Manchuria. Um, the Axis and I guess the Comintern are at war with the Allies. So all, f so three of the four factions are at war with one of the other factions. So looks like that's an advantage to us. Uh, we are going to begin our. Uh, Pacific War with three different offensives. One in the Gilbert Islands and Nauru here in the Central Pacific. Uh, that will consist of, I believe, up to, I think I have uh, six infantry, six marine divisions in the first marines that will capture these islands here. Uh, the second offensive will be out of Paleo, starting with initially th three marine divisions t that will open up establish a beachhead on uh, New Guinea and they will be followed up with a number of divisions that we have here we have four mountain divisions on Yap which will capture the mountain ranges and an additional four cavalry two which will flank the mountains uh, two divisions on each side that's the plan uh, after the, after they capture this port after the marines capture this port from there, the Marines will go ahead and launch amphibious invasion uh, down the Solomon Island chain, work their way to New Caledonia, uh, where the First Marines, are these the First Marines? Yeah, First Marines will continue their invasion into the Elise Islands and Fiji, and then link up with uh, the Third Marines in New Caledonia. New Caledonia has an extraordinary amount of chromium. Uh, if they need to be linked up there, they may end up linking up in uh, New Zealand, which will cut the Allies off, pretty much. This is a U.S. Samoa base. That will uh, cut Australia and the Allies off from potential U.S. involvement, although the United States has been, we've been boosting their uh, fascist support to 37%. Uh, so we're taking a number of actions politically. We are boosting ideology, fascist ideology in the United States, Soviet Union, and SIAM. And we are also improving relations in the Soviet Union as well, which is costing us a lot of politics. So we haven't, we're not getting a lot of political power. We do have an administrator that is boosting our, our political power slightly. Um, but most of our cabinet is almost filled at this point. We can still have one more political advisor. Uh, one military high command and one tank designer. We're not really designing, not really producing any tanks right now or designing any tanks, so I'm not too concerned with that. I don't really have anyone of interest besides this Prince of Terror character, but uh, I'm not going to use him as a political advisor until I conquer and occupy some land, which is going to start to happen, so. He might be the uh, next priority. And then military high command, I think I'm just going to use the carriers, but there's not much of a naval threat, I believe, in the Pacific. If my knowledge of history is correct, or if it follows the way this game, because most of the conflict is probably in Europe. In Europe, uh, we have the British have opened up a land at a beachhead here. This beach has never worked. Germany has taken the Alps. Interesting. Um, it looks like they've got some air superiority going on here. The Spanish are driving against the French. It looks like there's practically no one left fighting them. And the Italians have cut off the French there. The Germans are having problems in the north uh, against Denmark, which has captured Berlin. And Russia has not... Russia has entered a war uh, against Romania, so they're actually at war with the Allies, to my understanding, right? Yes, they're at war with all the Allied factions. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and launch these offensives. I've already uh, given the go orders. And let's see what happens in this theater. Can I zoom in a little bit to find... I can't get them all on the same screen, it looks like. Let's see what happens. National focus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bypassed.
Does that mean we have it? I guess. Interesting. Improved national spirit. We've got a number of national focuses that we can use here after infrastructure. There's a lot of things that are interesting for me. Warrior tradition is still one that I would like to get. I think that could help out a lot. Um, convoy protection. I'm not too worried about the naval arena at this point, like I said. When the if the United States gets involved in the war, then I will be worried. But I think befriending Siam might be the way to go. Or pressuring Siam, one way or another. I do want Siam into my faction. Issue an ultimatum with Siam. This focus will cancel if the prerequisites are not met. That will boost opinion. Siam is crucial because we need access to their land. Uh, if we're going to invade Singapore, they'll also open up a front against the uh, British or in the Iraj in Burma and Mandalay. So they would be nice to join the faction, but they are nowhere near joining our faction. We have a war that they may be drawn into. Oh man, I might have to issue the ultimatum with them and just. I think we're going with the ultimatum route with Siam. Now, the Chinese are on the India Raj border. I don't see any of the India Raj troops there, but that, those are the Himalayan mountains. So. Oh no! China theater, very low supply. Let's make that a first priority. And you know what I wanted to do? I think I need to build infrastructure. Infrastructure is next. This area needs a little bit more infrastructure in the China Theater. But who's there to resist us? We've already landed on the beach. And let's advance that way. Now, curious. Uh, I want to slow this down, actually. Oh, the Pacific Islands. That's probably why. We've already captured Nauru. There's nobody there. Let's make that a high priority too with supplies. And Charity Theater is in a low supply priority. Look at this. Hold on. Non-aggression pact requests from Italy. Non-aggression pact requests from Hungary. Uh, expeditionary force requests from them and non-aggression pack. That's fine. I'll sign non-aggression packs with you guys. Italy wants us to sign a non-aggression pact. I accept. Hungary wants us to sign a non-aggression pact. I accept. Germany wants a non-aggression pact. I accept. And expeditionary force. You want to send one division to help us out? Sure. And let's have these guys advance there. And the conquest of the Gilbert Islands and Nauru will be complete. And then we can start preparing for uh, advances here. In fact, let's start doing that. Amphibious invasion. I want you to land here. And you guys, I want you to launch your amphibious invasion and land there. And then we'll have the Elise Islands under our control. So that's going to move pretty quickly there, it looks like. So we'll probably grab Fiji, and we'll probably end up going into New Caledonia with the first Marines. I could probably start planning offensives on New Caledonia right now. Let's see here. That looks like a good base to capture. Looks good. Progress in the Pacific Islands. 
and we have established a beachhead in New Guinea. Let's take this port. Looks like the first phase of our offensives have been successful. I'm pretty happy with that. Except here, these guys are slowing down, low supplies. So I'm not seeing movement here, guys. These Marines are cutting off Indochina. And then I guess drive for uh, that French possession. No action. In there we go. All right. The Chinese have made a slight progress into India, but they're pulling back now. Uh, more requests for non-aggression packs. National of Spain, I accept. I have no intention of aggression against you or Slovakia. Very good. Okay, we have another factory here. We can make a tactical bomber. I guess we'll make more tactical bombers. Or I probably want new aircraft, right? Fighter 2. Get this guy going. Gotta get this guy going. More advanced fighters. This will be excellent. This game is definitely a lot of fun. I will admit that. Where's my fighter line? All right, we're gonna shut you down. And sure, let's do tactical bombers. Okay. Volunteer forces are still in trans transfer. I have air wings with no missions. These guys... I could probably send you guys somewhere, but I don't think I really need to at this point. Because we are kind of sweeping through everything. Want to wait to see where there is some resistance. I don't think there's going to be any allied resistance. Uh-oh. Australian fleet. Convoys, which are disengaging. Three Australian convoys. Two of our heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and nine destroyers. Battle of Rabu. Rabal. I mean, it looks like we have Command of the Seas out here. Invasion is still preparing. That is in the Solomon Sea. Lacking specific intel. I think we need to move ships into the Solomon Sea. I wanted a carrier group out there. I had a carrier group somewhere. Oh, right there I moved them. Well, I do want a carrier group there too. I think I, I can probably move... Let's move this squadron out. It's East China Sea Battle Group. They're needed in the Solomons. Oh, I'd rather land them there. Yeah, there we go. Caroline Islands. 
land them where there's a garrison. And then we can deploy them to the Solomon Islands. How long till they get there? Where does it tell you? Should tell you somewhere how long it would take. Two days. Two days and 17 hours. All right, pick up the pace. Volunteer forces that have been fighting in German Reich have now returned home to this province down here. Oh, I forgot about that. Take Hong Kong. And take these guys. Extra Marines, they'll come up from the south. How about that? I forgot about those uh, small little ports there. They're important. Alright, we've got two convoy raiding and one patrol in the East China Sea. So I think you're good. Convoy raiding and two patrol in the Philippine Seas. One patrol in the Bismarck Sea and one patrol in, uh, what is this, Eastern Micronesia, I think. Did they capture that port? They did. Okay, it's time to move in the rest of the troops. Not all of them. Mountain troops deploy. And cavalry deploy. Oh, I gotta move them into the port. There we go. November 1940. Progress seems to be going well. These guys, we're gonna prepare an amphibious invasion. Right there. Capture that island, and then we'll move down the Solomon Islands. Australia will be ours. French have been cut off. Let's see if they can make it to Saigon. Not sure if you guys have battle plans, actually. Fall of Hong Kong. Look at that. Troops in the Empire of Japan have captured the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong after breaking through uh, the gin drinker line and landing on Hong Kong Island itself. The situation soon became untenable. Four defenders and the governor surrendered in person in at the Peninsula Hong Kong Hotel, where the Japanese had established their headquarters. After the brief ceremony, now the Japanese governor was installed and announced New Hong Kong. That probably actually brings in. Um, does Hong Kong have factories? One factory. They have a lot of slots open though. We might move some of our industry down there. That was huge. What about this one? No slots. All right, Hong Kong. That's a big one. And these guys, this army. I don't know what's going on with these guys. Let's get offensive line. That ends up driving all the way south.
Start moving. There is no resistance. Siam troops have uh, approached or uh, have moved to the border. I think we're going to have to threaten Siam. This first army will wipe them out. British troops on the Indian front. China needs to get moving. And we're actually at 20 minutes here, so that will be an end for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.